in this session let us go for the fence toolbar a fence simply put is a selection window which can be altered as per the requirement let me first draw a couple of objects over here So now we have drawn these objects and next we will use the fence option. The first option over here is place fence, select this and when you select the place fence option you will be getting a total of two sub options. The first one is fence type and the second one is fence mode when you select the fence type that is in this fence type you have several options block shape circle element etc all right so first let us go for the block option and in the fence mode currently selected one is inside again over here you have various options inside overlap clip etc so for now we'll be choosing the block mode and the inside mode now for making the selections you need to click your left mouse button over here and then drag it drag the window you need not hold down your left mouse button just click it once and leave it and then drag this window right now since the fence type is set to block you are getting a rectangular shape now I'll click over here and you can see that right now the shape of my fence completely encloses a total of four objects that is this circle this circle two circles and the third circle these three circles and one rectangle this rectangle it is going to enclose a total of four objects now over here we have the move option select this and now in the move element sub options you have the option called use fence you need to select this if at all this is deselected then your f fence is of no use you won't be using the fence you will actually have to click on the object in order to move it but since we are trying to use the fence or we are trying to make uh, take advantage of the fence so we have created this fence in this way then click on use fence option and now you can click anywhere inside this fence in this way and place it over here the objects which were totally enclosed within the fence the four objects which we had thought of the three circles and the rectangle are now going to be moved whatever not just move whatever operation you are performing will be performed on the, subs, uh, the constituents or the elements which come under the fence which are completely enclosed into the fence earlier if I go with undo you can see this fence also included this rectangle but only the partial portion, partial portion of the rectangle right that is why it did not get selected ok now here I said there are two options fence type and fence mode instead of inside next let us go for the overlap option when you select overlap option and then drag a fence in this way and select it like this again you can see that this fence is currently enclosing one rectangle this rectangle the two circles within it so totally three objects till now and this circle as well so again it is completely enclosing four objects but it is also intersecting two other objects one is the rectangle the other is the circle so if you have the fence mode set to inside only the objects which are inside of this are going to be manipulated select this and move it only the objects which are inside are going to be moved undo now in this fence option I'll select overlap 
select this and click it in this way okay now when you go with the move option since you had selected overlap over there over here also overlap setting is displayed these sub options are nothing but the sub options which are present over there itself inside overlap clip void etc are also present over here itself okay so now since overlap is selected and when now i try to move it you will notice that not just the objects which are completely enclosed in the fence are moving but also the objects which are intersecting our fence that is the option called overlap when you have overlap selected the objects which intersect the fence will also move or will also undergo scaling or will also undergo copying whatever manipulation option you perform those operations will be performed on all the objects which either are completely enclosed within the fence or are intersecting the fence okay i'll go again with undo and now instead of each time over here now you saw that inside and all of these two options take into consideration the subjects which are enclosed within it or are intersecting it the next option is clip select this now place it over here again in the similar fashion like how we had placed it earlier again i'll go with the move option the clip option is selected i'll click over here and now move it and you can see the difference earlier the objects which were intersecting the fence were also being selected but right now when you have the clip mode on in the clip mode on only the objects which are either completely or partially within the fence are going to be moved if at all there is an intersecting portion it will be trimmed off you can see this rectangle has been trimmed off the circle as well has been trimmed off that is the clip option i go with undo and instead of clip i'll go with overlap this entire object even the object which is intersecting is going to be selected whereas if i go with clip only the object which is present inside the fence either partially or completely is going to be selected okay so those are the three options inside overlap and clip I'll next go with undo again okay the next option over here is void select void and draw the fence in this way next again use the smooth option and now i'm moving this when you go with the void option and when you try to place it like this the objects which are outside the rectangle sorry outside the fence are going to be moved around let me show it clearly now i'm moving it over here in this way and right now this rectangle this rectangle and this circle both of them as well as this circle is completely outside that fence and when i place it over here those objects which are completely outside the fence are going to be manipulated that is the void option apart from the selection everything except the selection is taken into the fence that is your void option let me go with undo okay let us now go with the creation of fence in this way i'm going with the block and the void option click it over here and place it over here now when you select it in this way all the objects which are outside this fence are going to be moved since void option is selected now go with move option place it over here and move it in this way you will notice that the that particular object which is inside the fence remains as it is everything outside of it starts manipulating that is the void option okay the next option is void overlap close this i'll again go with undo and i'll select the void overlap option again these two options are the combinations of the sub options which we have already seen we have already seen overlap option we have already seen void option the combination of void and overlap gives rise to void overlap option select this now click it over here and place it in this way okay 
now when I go with the move option you will notice that whatever is coming outside that is this rectangle and the circle both of them are totally outside this rectangle and this circle are intersecting the fence now when you move it you can see those objects which are intersecting the fence are also moved as well as those objects which are outside the fence are also moved that is the void overlap option go with undo select void clip option and now click over here as you move it you will notice that the partially trimmed off elements the elements which are outside the fence are going to be selected as well as the objects which are intersecting the fence are going to be trimmed off and moved around or manipulated so when you go with this option you have inside overlap clip void void overlap and void clip we have different fence types that is block shape circle etc for which again i'll have to stop this session now and resume in the next session